Hello friends, uh, I'm Parwes and this is our first video in developing Qt Quick applications with QML and Qt5. Uh, this is our first video and in the first video uh, we are going to introduce Qt Quick uh, and also we are going to introduce uh, QML and uh, at the end we will make uh, our simple example in Qt Quick with QML. <coughs> okay. Now, uh, first of all, what's Qt Quick? Uh, Qt Quick is uh, basically the umbrella term for the user interface technologies in Qt5. Uh, Qt Quick itself is a collection of several technologies. We have different technology technologies combined in Qt Quick. Uh, we have QML. Uh, in Qt Quick, QML is a markup language for user interfaces. We can use JavaScript. Uh, JavaScript is the dynamic scripting language. And also we have Qt C++, uh, the highly portable enhanced uh, C++ library. Uh, now, these all uh, are combined and made Qt Quick. Now, what's QML? Uh, similar to HTML, uh, QML is a markup language. Uh, it is composed of tags called element in Qt, Qt in Qt Quick, uh, enclosed in curly brackets uh, like items. Uh, it was designed uh, from the ground up uh, for the creation of user interface speed and uh, easier reading for developers. Uh, the user interface can be enhanced using JavaScript codes. Qt Quick is easily extendable uh, with your own native functionality using Qt C++. In short, uh, we can tell that uh, uh, the declarative UI is called the front end uh, and the native parts are called back end. Uh, this allows you to separate the computing uh, intensive and native operations of uh, your application from user interface part. Uh, <coughs> In a typical uh, project, uh, the front end is developed in QML or JavaScript. If you uh, if you want to develop uh, front end, you can use QML, and also you can use JavaScript. And the back end code, which uh, interface or interact with the system and does the heavy lifting, uh, it's developed using Qt C++. Uh, this allows a natural split uh, between the <coughs> more uh, design oriented developers and the functional developers. Uh, typically, the backend is uh, tested using Qt owns units, testing frameworks, and exported for the front end developers to be used. Uh, <coughs> now, this was a simple uh, introduction to the QML, and also we have introduced Qt Quick. <coughs> now, uh, this is a simple example uh, that uh, this example is in. Uh, Qt Quick in Qt Qt Quick examples in QML examples. Uh, if you come in uh, uh, in here, uh, you can see that we have uh, a plant examples. You can see this. Uh, uh, you can see that this is uh, the best example uh, we have earth. We have. Uh, uh, this is uh, designed in QML and also using uh, Qt, Qt Quick. Uh, we have different things in here. Uh, and also, uh, if I close this, you can see the files, uh, the example. Uh, we have a main.cpp. Okay, now let's uh, get uh, how you can uh, create your first Qt Quick uh, application in Qt5. Uh, for this, I Close this. Like this. Okay. Now, uh, in Qt5, you can from new or, fi or file project. And in here, choose applications. And from this section, you can use Qt Quick application. Choose. And you can call it, uh, I give it thoughts Qt Quick. Uh, next, next, and finish. Okay, uh, this is our first 
cute a quick window uh, let me close this project planet okay <coughs> uh, we have different things in here you can see we have a dot profile for our project uh, we have uh, source main.cpp and also we have our QML uh, if you uh, open your sources we have a main.cpp in here and you can see that we have int main and also in here we load our uh, um, QML file uh, in this QML we are going to uh, do our all codings and through the C++ we are uh, loading that if you come to the resources in uh, QML.resource and if you open main.qml <coughs> you can see we have uh, different things in here okay if I run this you can see that we have a simple window uh, this is a window we have visible through the window is visible and uh, we have a mouse area it is anchors dot fill uh, parent uh, and when on click when we click uh, in every section of this uh, uh, window uh, this window will be closed. If I click in here, you can see it's closed. Uh, if I run it again, and if I click in here, you can, it's closed because uh, the field is parent, and and everywhere we click, uh, this will be closed. And also we have a text in here. You can see that the text, the text is uh, "Hello World." I can change this to uh, like this. Uh, my first. Uh, quick, cuter quick application. <coughs> okay, uh, if I run this, you can see that this is my first cuter quick applications. Uh, we will cover this uh, uh, more in the further videos, but but this is the uh, simple and basics. Uh, also, uh, I can give like this. I can give a color. For my text, I give it red. Uh, now, if I run this, you can see that I have a red color. And also, you can uh, give your window width and height uh, a color or width and height. This will be for our next wi uh, video. Just I give it a color for my window. Uh, color, I give it brown. If I run this, <coughs> You can see that we have a brown uh, background for our windows. Uh, okay, thank you guys. This was our first video in Qt Quick, uh, develop developing Qt uh, Quick applications uh, with QML and Qt5. Uh, we will uh, cover uh, more than this in the further videos. And if you like these videos, uh, please subscribe my channel and. Um, Mm, thanks again.